Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design. I'm Dej and in a previous video we learned how to create a website in 2 minutes with Adobe Muse CC. Today we're gonna export our files and upload them through FTP. Last time we created 3 pages, the home page, the about page and the contact page. Now let's upload them so that people can access our website online. Go to file, upload to FTP host. Here you have to fill in all the needed information. To do that, you need to have a web host and the web hosting company that you registered with will give you all these credentials. I've already recorded a video on how to register for a domain name and a web hosting plan in two minutes. The link is in the description. So I'll enter my FTP server. Okay, you're not allowed to see it. I'll enter my username and my password, which is exclamation point. Hit next and enter the site URL, the domain name. If you've created a folder on your site and you want to store your files there, then enter the folder name here. Otherwise, just leave it empty. In the upload drop down menu, you can choose whether to upload all files or the modified files only. Since this is the first time you're uploading, it doesn't matter. But later, when you want to make a change to your web design, you don't have to re upload everything, just the modified files. Hit OK and Muse will start uploading. When the upload is completed, go ahead and check your website in your browser. There it is. I'm accessing my website online, not locally. Here's the home page, the about page, and the contact page. Now, sometimes you don't want to upload your files using Adobe Muse itself. You just want to export them on your computer and upload them later using an FTP client. All you have to do is to go to File, Export as HTML. Enter your site URL, browse to the folder where you want to save your files, and hit OK. Now check your folder, and you'll see a bunch of files here. These files should be uploaded to the server, so that you can access your website online. Otherwise, you can open this file index.html in your browser to go through your site offline. That's it.